Welcome back, everyone, to Elements of Justice, Crusading for a Turnabout, Case 2, Episode 2, Investigation. Now, last we're going to get a recap here, but if memory serves, last we left off, we had just finished investigating the crime scene where a Pegasus, whose name I do not remember, I want to say a Swift, but that was the character from the original Turnabout Storm, not this. I can't remember this one's name, had been murdered very badly. Um, and Scootaloo is under arrest for it because her her scooter was found next to the body. Um, I feel like there's something else, though, that we've not found out yet that's a reason for her to have been uh, accused. Um there's definitely something that Apple Bloom's keeping from us, I know that. Um, and I remember the body was found right next to the bridge leading to the castle. Um, but then there was an absolutely horrifying amount of blood on the Nightmare Moon statue. Which was, that, that scene was like, holy shit. <laughs> that was terrifying, I loved it. Um, uh... There was something else. Oh yeah, the 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 little video showing the build up to to the murder seemed to imply that a timber wolf had killed him, and yet the injury is not like what a timber. It seems that he actually hit his head on Scootaloo's scooter, on the handle of it, um, or something like that, if I can remember right. Either way, we're gonna get a recap here, so let's let's get into this and see what happened. And as you can see, the video is about an hour and a half long, so this will probably get cut into around three parts, um, which is fair. Three parts for an episode seems about fair to me. Uh, let's go. Previously oh. on oh, Elements of Justice. Applejack, Twilight, help! I'm telling you, I didn't do anything wrong. Would it be all right if I let? Oh yeah, that's right. My name is Private Eye. I'm the lead investigator. My name for is this Professor case. Layton. The victim's name is Royal Order. A Royal member Order. Of Princess Celestia's Royal Guard. Oh, he's a that unicorn. Scooter. Idiot. Hang on wagon. Those are Scootaloo's. So this is the Nightmare Night statue, huh? There really You're gonna show it to us again? Blood. Oh, this isn't no. Royal Order's blood. You mean this case might have a second victim? We'll find a way to prove Scootaloo's innocence. Okay, you better, because if you don't, I'll find a way to do it myself, no matter what. It's a deal. Okay, I'm going to pause real quick and check my audio settings, because this thing is much louder for me than it usually is. Actually, I might just turn it down over here instead of being an absolute numpty, and thereby ruining everything. Is this great? Yeah. All right, we're good. Turn that down. Give me some sound so I can hear. Here's cell boutique. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Here we are. I remember this place. This is where I first met Rarity. Makes sense. This is her house and shop, after all. Which I thought you so knew. So, Sweetie Belle lives with her? Not normally. Their parents are just out of town this week, so Rarity's looking after her until they get back. I'd forgotten that... Oh, that's weird. Athena the was locked. the one we're following in this one. Rarity must not Why have returned here locked? after the arrest. Either that, or she just decided not to open up shop today. Hopefully, Sweetie Belle's still here. I'm not sure where to start looking if she's not. Something's going on with Sweetie Belle. Why? Ooh. Oh. Hi, Apple Bloom. Hey, Sweetie Belle. Could you let us in? We need to talk. Uh, sure. One second. It's pretty good, Is Sweetie Belle, from what I can tell. Is she normally like this? No. She's not. She saw something, didn't she? Something's not right. Can I just say that the way Apple Bloom's nose lifts up and down is so adorable? <laughs> Come on in. 
What happened? You saw something, didn't you, sweetie? Are you a rat, sweetie bail? Yeah, I'm fine. Who are these guys, Apple Bloom? Oh, uh, this is Mr. Rat and Miss Sachs. They're here to help defend Skittaloo. You heard about how she was arrested, right? Yeah, I heard what happened from Rarity. She came by earlier to tell me what was going on, but went back to Princess Twilight's castle to comfort Rainbow Dash. You didn't go with her? Mm. Well, uh, I wasn't feeling 100% yeah, this morning. Yeah, that's and bullshit. I couldn't get out of bed. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Well, you're looking a lot better for some pony who can get out of bed a few hours ago. Well, I guess it was just a passing bug. Okay. Well, anyway. I wanted to come by and ask if you wanted to join us. We're going to visit Scootaloo. Oh, uh... What? I don't really think it's a good idea for me to leave the house. Rarity might come home early and worry about where I am. Sweetie Belle, I'm sure she'll understand that you went to visit Scootaloo at the detention center. I can tell her myself if that makes you feel any better. Uh... What? Happened. What's going on, sweetie Bale? Yeah. You've been acting weird since we arrived. You don't even want to go and visit Scootaloo? Come on, just tell us. Sweetie Bale, do you think Scootaloo actually did it? What? No, 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 no! I never said anything like that! I just... I, I'm just confident that at the end of the day, Scootaloo will be found innocent! Are you? If you say so. Excuse me, uh, Sweetie Belle, was it? Yeah? I've been looking around, and I couldn't help but notice that there's something a little unusual in your trash can. Uh-oh. An assortment of leaves, vines, and branches. That doesn't seem like the kind of thing Rarity would have mm. collected. Do you have any idea on what that's about? Ooh, Cyclops. Oh, damn, that's a lot of them, too. What the? What's going on? Chains and locks? Wait, are these the Cyclops that Mr. Wright mentioned? Yeah. Uh, I'm suddenly not feeling so well anymore. I think I'm just going to head back to bed. You should all go and visit Scootaloo. Don't worry about me. What do you mean? I thought you said it was a pissing bug. Apple Bloom, I think we should head out and give Sweetie Belle the space she needs. Especially if she wants to support Scootaloo with the trial tomorrow. We still need to speak to her at the detention center anyway. What? Okay, you were, obviously she was there. You she so. saw something. Yeah, you saw it too, didn't you, Phoenix? Sorry about Sweetie Belle, y'all. I don't know what was up with her. She's usually not like that. From the look on her face, I'd say she's hiding something. Am I right, Athena? Uh, huh? You still have my Magatama, right? You never gave it back. Oh, uh, yeah, that. that's why she could see them. Oh, yeah, sorry. Here it is. Thanks. So, tell me. Did you see any locks appear when we were talking to Sweetie Belle? You should remember uh, those. I did. Are those the... Uh, the psych lock things you told me about? Psych locks? Do you see the stone here, Apple Bloom? Uh-huh. This is called a Magatama. It's enchanted with spiritual power, and it lets the holder see the secrets that people, or ponies in this case... Ponies are, are people, hiding. too! Damn it. Those secrets take the form of psych locks, and the more that appear around someone, the deeper the secret they're keeping. Oh, I think I remember Twilight yeah. going on about some sort Yeah, she of she had the Magatama in Turnabout Storm at one point. Yeah, she used that was it. because I accidentally absorbed some oh, of yeah. Magatama's power. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Over the place. It did eventually wear off, though. 
Wait. So, Athena, you saw those Sacco lock things on Sweetie Bale? Yeah, four of them. When did they appear? When you asked her about that stuff in the trash can. Although I think, mm -hmm. I if think memory serves about Turnabout Storm, Celestia so, had like six of them on her at the end of it. Locks, so she was keeping a secret about Phoenix. The secret she's keeping must be pretty deep, huh? <laughs> Indeed. And it must have something to do with the debris I found. But Lane was just a bunch of twigs and leaves. What secret could she possibly be keeping about that? Hmm. I don't know. But for now, we don't have enough no. evidence to pursue any sort of questioning with her. We'll have to come back to this later. For now, let's get back to the castle. We should report our findings to everyone there. And hopefully, your badge will be waiting for you, Athena. Yeah. It's so weird to think this is before the table oh, showed up. Oh, thank goodness. I was going to go crazy if I had to listen to another hey. of Pinkie Pie's ridiculous songs. Oh, I would give on, a lot Molly. of stuff to listen to They're Pinkie really Pie's songs. Which is exactly why I never want to hear her songs ever again. You're going to be humming I the smile song later. About making other ponies smile ah. or whatever. I'm going to lose it. It's like something you play for little kids. You're welcome, Polly. Please, just call me Apollo. Apple Bloom, you know better than to run off like that without permission. I know Twilight was with you and all, but you should ask me first before you go gallivanting off on some dangerous investigation. Remember what happened the last time you went off on your own? I know. I'm sorry, sis, but I really wanted to help Scootaloo. Did you guys find out what happened? Did you find any evidence to prove that Scoot's is Not innocent? yet. Well, I can't really say we have a clear picture of what happened yet. And none of the evidence we found is at all decisive. <sighs> I was afraid you'd say that. It's okay, Don't Dashie. Worry, Rainbow. There's still the trial. More evidence and testimony will be presented there, as I'm sure you remember. We still have plenty of chances to get Scootaloo out of this mess. Yeah, be fair. Right, After all, yeah. Nick well, wasn't able to save yeah. me right away either. Yeah. I just have to continue believing in him and Athena, and they'll work their courtroom magic, right? Absolutely. We'll do our best. I mean, admittedly, Excuse case me, against. Would you happen to be Miss what? What? Athena Sykes? Hmm? Who's this? Who are lady? you? <laughs> she was talking with everyone else when we walked in. Was she? Yeah, that's me. Who are you? Sugar Stamp, at your service, ma'am. I have something for you. Here you go. An oh, equestrian attorney okay. badge. Sent directly right. from the High Good. Council. Good, great. Wow, thanks. That was really fast. I mean, you're oh, adorable, you're too but, kind. you know. But if you must thank Simpony, you should thank the head of the High Council, Lockheaver Equity. Princess Twilight, you'll be happy to know that as soon as she got your letter, she immediately set aside all of her other duties to make sure uh, to talk um... to you as soon as possible. See? I told you they'd give special attention to a princess's request. Thanks for taking care of that for me, Spike. You're welcome, Twilight. Well, I can't believe the amount of clout Twilight has. She's a princess. She sure is a powerful ally. Even though and at this point she's not totally me? sure what Where's she's a princess of. Yeah, well, there. she... Uh, that, that. Uh -huh, Mrs. Uh. Uh. Huh. Apple Bloom, you know Miss Stamp? Yeah. She's always coming by Scootaloo's house to drop off letters from her parents. Ah. Speaking of which, I heard from the others that Scootaloo got arrested this morning. The poor thing. Yeah, she did. Don't worry, though. Mr. Rat and Miss Socks are gonna save her. Ah, so that's what the badge is for, then? Yep. I can't exactly stand in court without one. I see, I see! Best of luck for the trial! And Apple Bloom, when you see Scootaloo, you should give her this. It's another letter from her parents. I bet she could really use it. Of course, Miss Stamp. I'm suspicious of and you. And here's a little treat. You're for adorable. Your 
Aww, you're an OC, I'm you pretty sure. Every time you're way too out. nice, and you know Scootaloo. <laughs> Don't be silly. It's and you come to town to often. The sweet children I meet on my travels. So. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if I trust well, you or I not. I to be going now. <laughs> I've still got plenty of other letters to deliver. See you around, everybody. <laughs> On Mare. I agree. Me too. She's quite a fast flyer. Yes, she is. She might even rival you, Rainbow. Uh, okay, let's not get carried <laughs> away here. We all know there's no pony faster than me. Well, no pony who's legit anyway. Lightning what dust? That, Rainbow? Uh, nothing. So, uh, what did you guys find out during your investigation? Well, a member of the Royal Guard was killed! God damn it, Owl Bloom. Yeah. He was killed at the foot of the bridge leading to the castle of the two sisters. The police think that Scoonaloo killed a member of the Royal Guard? Why? We're not really sure what the motive they're going to put forth is right now. But they do seem to have some evidence that at least points to her. What do they hang? That's the problem, though. They don't have a motive. The crime scene, and it may very well be the murder weapon. That's ridiculous. How could a exactly. woman like her kill a fully grown stallion? And why? Pretty sure that's going to be something the prosecution will try to explain uh -oh. in the trial. And hopefully, we'll be able to use that explanation to find a hole in their story. Right. Just like last time. By the way, also, I Verity, noticed when I was rewatching. Really need to ask you. Mm. What is it, Twilight? We stopped by Carousel Boutique on our way back here to check in on how Sweetie was handling this whole situation with Scootaloo. We couldn't help but notice that she was acting a little strangely, though. Would you happen to know why? Unfortunately, I haven't the faintest idea, darling. She's been acting like that ever since I got home last night. Do you think something might have happened to her? Mm. I don't know. She won't tell me anything. And I'm not sure what she was up to at all yesterday. What with the trial and the party afterwards. Right. We were all preoccupied for the entire day. However, I did find something this morning that raised a few questions. Did you? I'm not sure if it's directly related to Sweetie's recent behavior, but... A note was left in my shop last night. Why did you I'm not say anything to... about this sooner? What? What does it say? Here, you can read it for yourself. Dear Miss Rarity, I'm sorry for what I'm about to do, but I'm taking one of your rolls of golden silk fabric, and I won't be returning it. I'm not able to pay you back in bits, but I'll do whatever you want to make up for it. I'm sorry, but I have to do this. What does that mean? It means... Scootaloo stole a roll of golden silk from Rarity's shop last night. No! She... she wouldn't have! Right, Rarity? Unfortunately, Rainbow... I'm afraid she did. I checked through my stock after finding that note, and I discovered that one of my rolls of golden silk... I'm still convinced that they were going to bring the kid, the, the, the no, victim's son, where it ended up. into you the CMC. That roll of golden silk at the crime scene? That's what they were doing out there, was the I think. Brought it there after stealing it from Rarity. <sighs> but, but why would she do that? Mm, you know something, don't you, A.B.? I think I might know the answer to that. Do you? You you do? What is it, Mr. Wright? Let's go visit Scootaloo in the detention center. If I'm right, we can hear it straight from her. <clears throat> then let's get going. I'm coming with you. Apple Bloom. Please, Apple Jack. I've got to go see Scootaloo. She has to know I'm there to support her. <sighs> Twilight, what do you think? As long as she stays with us, she should be fine. We don't plan on heading anywhere else anyway. Normally, only those of immediate family or attorneys are allowed to visit the primary suspects on trial. But I should be able to get her in there. Please, Apple Jack! Oh, what kind of friend would I be if I didn't go support her? 
Again, that is just All such right, a good apple bloom. You can go, but come straight back as soon as you're done. No more investigating. You hear me? Of course. Thank you, sis. And we're going to end that this video here. Um, yeah, we've only been going for about 20 minutes, but I'm still going to end it here because this is a good stopping point for this. Um, and besides, I still have a little bit of talking to do. Um, yeah, I think I'm convinced that the CMC were going to bring the kid, whose name I also cannot remember, Royal Order's son, into the CMC. They were going to make him a cutie mark crusader. I... Actually, did he have his cutie mark or not? I don't remember if he did or not. Not that it necessarily matters, but... Um, I mean, by this point, Bab Seed is, has hers, and I, she's still an honorary member, so... You know. Um, hmm. That's the only reason I can think of for them having the golden silk, is to make another cape. Because that's what they used it for. They used it to make the linings for the insides of their capes. So that's the only reason they would have it. Um, or rather, it seems likely that, well, they may have all been in on it to a degree. It was Scootaloo's idea. And she's the one who decided, hence, to go steal the golden silk from rarities. But not entirely certain I would call it stealing, seeing as she did straight up leave the note saying, hey, I took this, I can't pay you back with money, but I'll do whatever you want. So, you know, sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think that's what was up. I think they were going to, like, induct him into the CMC or something. Um, so, yeah. And then, well, I guess they went out to the Everfree for some reason to do that, and then they saw something they shouldn't have, or got involved in something that they shouldn't have. I'm wondering, maybe... Okay, so see, here's the thing. This is a theory right now. This is I know this is really early on to be coming up with theories, but this is my theory at the moment. Royal Order was running from the Timberwolf and tripped and fell into Scootaloo's bike, into Scootaloo's scooter, and that's how he died. Maybe. Thing is, what happened to the Timberwolf? Because it wouldn't have just buggered off and left and the biggest thing is and we know it's not his whose blood was at the Nightmare Moon statue because that was so much blood like whoever that came from they are dead they are freaking dead whoever that came from and that is like that is like a major question um, I might go clean up a bit shave shower, do all that kind of stuff, and then come back and continue this. Um, but yeah. I don't know. And then, I mean, it's pretty obvious that Sweetie Belle saw something in the forest. You know, that's what she's hiding. She was obviously there, hence the leaves and the, the, the bracken and the, 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 the trash can. Um, they were obviously all there. There was one cape missing, though, wasn't there? Two of their capes were there with sco with the scooter, along with the roll of silk, but then the other cape was missing. And did we ever find it? I don't remember if we found the other cape or not. I don't know. I don't know, yeah. I'm going to clean up, shave, do all that kind of stuff, and when I get back, we will continue this because it's just, it's awesome, and I love this too much. Uh, anyway... I will see you in the next video, then. Harmonia Invictus. I need to start looking at the camera when I do that, don't I? You're not over here. You're not me. You're not there. And you're not over here. You're, you're, you're there. Time for another I'm awkward joke, isn't it? <laughs> I'll see you in the next video, then, everyone. Open your eyes, life is all around you Don't have to be so alone Take a good look at this world you found And breathe, now you're finally home